Hi, welcome back to Dive Twang. I'm Dave. Yesterday was Jerry's birthday, and uh, I just really enjoyed seeing how many people still celebrate his life and his music, and um, how many great players out there and great bands are still playing those songs. And over the weekend, there was some just outstanding performances featuring a lot of dead songs. Billy Strings with String Cheese Incident was one of them. Um, and I think that was yesterday. And, uh, you know, it's just so cool to see how this it's, Jerry still shows up in so many people's playing. And it's really this whole genre. It, you know, it always includes him somehow. So... He's kind of like a spice now, right? Like we're, we're all jamming, we're all doing our thing, and then at some point we're like, let's sprinkle a little Jerry in here because that's going to taste good, <laughs> right? You know, it's, just, it's all good. Um, so let's have some fun with this. I'm going to show you right away. Um, we're, we're, we're using a A Mixolydian home base here, so A7, and, and we're just doing a... a a7 to G, th those are the only two chords on that track. Okay, and it changes in the middle of the measure, right? So, you know, you can count that out if you want, but don't worry about it too much because when you put the track on and get going, you'll, you know, just give it a few times around and you'll start to anticipate, you know, where that goes in the bass line and stuff. So, A mixolydian, all right? Now, that's like the major scale with the flat is seven. <laughs> If you're not familiar with that, you know, this, this video would be a great place to start using it. Um, but you want to park it right here if you're not and get, you know, get that figured out. doesn't have to be in this position. could be anywhere. But get that sound going. And then when you're, you know, when you're getting, when you get there, um, put the track on and just kind of warm up on that. Okay. Now, notice I started doing this one string thing. Like, okay, well, you know, that doesn't look very sophisticated. But ear training wise, and just to kind of show you that a scale is just, it's a line of notes. It's a sequence, right? And so sometimes tracing that out on one string is a really good thing because you, you, you can, you can kind of get a grasp of your melodic choices real quick like that. And it also helps you to kind of map out positions that we're going to use here in just a few minutes and we'll do another video on this in a day or two that gets more into the position changing and stuff today i was going to get you started with a real open method of getting into this style without memorizing a whole lot of stuff okay but you want to get your ear bonded with that mixolydian sound and you know get some visual pathways down to where you're you know where you can repeat them don't worry if you make mistakes but you know be able to kind of wander around in that a mixolydian okay and the other thing and that might be your program right there just what we just warmed up on that might be your thing for a couple of days or something right um, along with that, uh, if you're already familiar with it or if you want to also you know, learn another really useful skill for this style in terms of note sequences and scales is um, major pentatonic. Okay, And again, you don't have to memorize every 
part of the guitar, but um, you know, pick a couple of places and really get that down. <laughs> So we got two things going on. Then do a little bit of warm up on that. Amen to Lydia. same idea there, right? Now, you know, that's not that efficient physically. But ear-wise and, tr and, 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 and teaching yourself able to hear the continuation of that sequence of notes and the spacing and the, the, the essence of that melody up and down in different places and starting and ending in different places, okay? Now that might seem a little daunting at first, but I'm showing you real grounded ways that you can do that. Let me show you again right there. This is the pentatonic. There was a little bit of that mixolydian thrown in there at the end of that. So I'm not showing you licks, I'm not showing you exactly what melody to play, but you you can pick out a three or four note melody. I like that. There, I was kind of imagining where the G was, right? So when you switch to that G is when you can either aim for, you know, a G note or maybe some kind of triad thing there. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in the next lesson. But you can also just kind of keep going with that mixolydian, alternating it with that major pentatonic, and you're going to land on some good stuff. Now here's kind of the last piece of this, and then we're going to, we're going to give you some stuff you can really practice here. Um, alternating it works really well and it gives you a routine and it makes it more musical and you don't want to always do this in sort of a formulaic way but to get started with some of this here's an idea for you on the a7 um, use a lot of the pentatonic stuff I'll do it I'll do it exclusively with uh, a major pentatonic and then when it switches to the G do the, the uh, fill in with more of the um, notes in order in that mixolydian, okay? Not as bad as it sounds, hold on. And I'm gonna go a little bit slower.
I put a few more little stylized things and bins and slides and things in there. Not to throw you off, but just to show you how you can get from that simple routine, right, to something, you know, work your way up to um, putting in a lot more of those embellishments and things. The key to it, and I'm going to show you a lot of those in the next, you know, little bit here, um, uh, the next couple of videos, using this same backing track. The way to get the push-ups and sit-ups for this are those two scale sequences in different places and really train your ear to hear those, okay? And you can get out diagrams and stuff, and you can look that stuff up. It's all over the place. A mixolydian, there's a million of them you know, online. Um, a major pentatonic, that's great. But use that to just learn it, you know, and then put it away, okay? I know that's hard to do and probably some disagreement <laughs> with me on that. <laughs> but uh, give it a try, man, you, you, and, and, and let yourself go. Don't be afraid to hit those good, bad notes. Let it all happen, right? And um, before you know it, you don't have to be going fast and playing a ton of notes to play some really cool stuff. I'm going to play a little bit more using the ideas that I just talked about and then um, get you to the practice loop. Let me know how this goes and look for the next couple of videos. Have some fun. Happy birthday, Jerry. Mm -hmm.